Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to a new week for another weekly vlog. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette, your favorite girl on the internet. And this weekly vlog is where I document my weight loss journey, showing you guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the positives, and the negatives of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey. But before we get into this week's vlog, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up. If you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into this weekly vlog. So y'all, last week I ended in a bit of a temper tantrum. <laughs> Sorry about it. But yeah, I get really hangry if I don't eat, which is not cute, is not cute. Um, today I am not working out because I need to clean my room. I need to put away laundry. I need to pack. I need to get ready because we are going to be leaving for a staycation my grandma is in Colorado but she is making her way to my place right now and then she'll just like hang out for the day I need to actually wash my bed sheets because when we get back she'll stay with me for a couple of days and then she'll head back to Tejas which is so exciting but yeah so we're just gonna spend the week together have a little staycation have some good old family quality time and yeah we have a lot to do we're gonna do a food shop because I have some protein but not all <laughs> I have some chicken and I have some chicken sausage but that's obviously not gonna last me all week I need some salmon and I'll probably get some more chicken, to be quite honest with you. And yeah, I have quite a few things that I need to pack. I'm going to be taking my air fryer with me. I'm going to be taking my blender with me. And I also don't have anything packed for clothes to take. But that being said, I'm not working out today because... This week, I'm not going to be able to go to a gym. We're going to be at an Airbnb. So I'm going to bring equipment with me that I will use to work out while I'm there. And I thought it would just be easier to just do a week of at-home workouts instead of trying to work out in a gym when I'm not going to have access to one. So... There's that, but I'm very, very excited to get things rolling. My hair is like, it, it's tight, but it's like I can move it and it doesn't hurt, but it's tight in a way that like my scalp really itches because it's pulling. So I've been moisturizing my scalp extra um, since I've gotten it done because a girl is just going through it. But anyways, I've started the day with work. I have not eaten anything, even though it's 9.30. I've just been trying to get through some stuff. I've had a couple meetings this morning, and yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of a break, get all of my, like, my sheets and stuff like that in the wash so I can get cleaned and be ready and also start trying to pack. <laughs> because <laughs> there's a lot that I gotta do still like I literally have nothing packed for this week long staycation it's a staycation for me a vacation for my grandmother but I'm very excited but I gotta get things done so I haven't eaten yet but grandma's here we're probably gonna get Chick-fil-a so I'll have that instead for lunch but I'm having like a couple handfuls of the black forest gummy bears just talking about this but let's go see the lady so you guys can say hi to her. Doing laundry, by the way. Laundry good. You wanna say hi to the vlog? To the who? To the vlog. Hi, vlog. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> now she's just watching some TV. I don't know what she's watching, but she's here. And we're gonna get Chick-fil-A later. Oh, you don't want Chick-fil-A? I want Chick-fil-A. I don't know. But then again, I'm in Colorado. 
So Colorado chips are always better. Yeah. yeah. But I wanted something hot. I have ramen. Which ramen? I'll show you. She got us noodles and company. Yep. <laughs> sure did. You look so tired. I'm breathing. Oh yeah, have you been drinking water? Not much. Girl, today because I was traveling. Oh yeah. Oh, you got yourself some. Wow. You got one too. Oh, I can have one. That's nice. Oh, you got two. <laughs> I bought one for you and one for me. Oh my God. But you know we'd be, uh, <laughs> I'd be like, no. <laughs> You're like, I ain't sharing with you. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Is this mine? Yeah, that's yours. Okay. Cause I have, these weren't my Japanese pan noodles. I don't know what you got. I got the Pad Thai. Oh yeah, that's, that's yours. This is Pad Thai. Yeah, that's Pad Thai. Yeah. And then what are these? What flavors are those? They're both the same chicken. Okay. I didn't want nothing else but chicken. Lord, thank you for this food. I said you bless it and bless it. Part of me, Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Japanese pan noodles and, and you got some, some steak seasoned. Yeah, 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 I see. There you go. And you have some sauce. I'll turn on the TV for you so you can yeah, watch so I can finish show. Much my show. <laughs> I was talking to Sita. They said, I want that piece of mine. I'm like, okay, Sita, let me eat first. <laughs> I'll eat first and I call her back. This is to go with this, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh boy, that looks so good. She feasting, boy. I'm feasting. I haven't eaten like this in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so I basically finished majority of that bag of gummy bears and had the entire Japanese pan noodles with steak and had about two and a half of the dumplings and I could not finish the rest because um, they just weren't my favorite but yeah that is what I've had so far today and I have not had a lot of water and I need to drink way more water than what I've currently consumed so far today. So I had a couple bites of my grandma's turkey mayo sandwich. That's made with sourdough. And then I am having the Health Aid Kombucha Tropical Punch right now. And I'm in bed. This bed has memory foam. This bed has memory foam. And then the shower was like a rainfall shower. Obviously I did not do that because my hair stays wet for the longest time. Retains moisture a lot. So I avoided that, but it was a really nice shower. I feel extremely clean. This Airbnb is so nice, y'all. It is so nice. I will do a... You got the door good? Yeah, I did. I'm gonna do a tour tomorrow to show you guys what this looks like in the daytime. But I'm gonna take it easy. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll talk to you in the morning.
So Grandma and I arrived last night. Um, you might have seen a little bit of snippets of me eating <laughs> throughout the night, eating her food specifically. But um, I'll insert a little bit of a little house tour. And I'll make sure to leave a link to this Airbnb so you guys can check it out yourselves because it's really nice. Like we have two bathrooms. One of them has a shower. One of them has a clawfoot bathtub. And then um, they both have toilets in both of the bathrooms. There's two beds. One is a king and then one is a queen size. I have uh, two living spaces. Um, one I'm going to be working out of and my grandma's also going to just be like, chill and hanging the other one um is a little bit more relaxed i would say but it has a tv in it but i don't plan on watching the tv because i have my laptop and we have wi-fi <laughs> and we have like I, I don't know grandma and we have um a porch outside we have like outdoor seating so we can sit outside but there's a few things that we need um like more water and stuff maybe mustard um yeah some condiments and some ice cream We've gotta get some ice cream so we'll probably do that later on today but yeah this week i realize i don't have my scale with me so i'm not gonna be able to tell you what i weigh on saturday morning but i'm gonna do it on sunday so you guys can expect that then and then I'm not going to be working out as much because I don't have access to like cardio equipment. So I'm just going to be doing a couple uh, weighted exercises and that's it with a little bit of stretching. So that's going to be like my workout routines this week. Um, just adjusting, not trying to do too much. Just trying to do a little bit. And yeah, going to work out at least three to four times this week and go from there. So now that I'm finished, I am going to get ready for work and start on work because i i'm still working even though i'm doing like a staycation sort of thing and grandma's really just like out here relaxing which is lovely for her um i'm still getting work done because i just felt like it was too short of a notice to be like hey i'm gonna take off for a week so yeah i'm going to get ready try to make some breakfast we got acquainted with the kitchen last night it's a really nice kitchen as i'm sure you would have seen by now if i've already inserted the footage but yeah it's a really beautiful home and it, i'm just like when we came in we we're just like wow this is really nice it's so nice like i would love my home to look like this and it has like some open shelving and stuff like that you can kind of see here open shelving and it's just like very cozy and really nice and there's like lots of different types of rugs and stuff like that on her in her house and it was the bed was really comfortable it was like memory foam it was hard to get up this morning because I was just like this feels so comfortable and I felt like I got a really deep sleep which was nice but anyways, I am going to get ready now and I will chat with you guys later. It's RSL. So because it's going to be a shorter week, I'm probably going to talk a little bit more in this vlog. I don't know. But I need to make my salmon. So I'm going to grab my protein and get that done because it is about to be lunchtime. And I have several meetings. So this is what I got at Trader Joe's. And I have my lemon. 
I guess I'll show you guys what we got, but let me do that now, I guess. Food haul. So yeah, I have some salmon here. They didn't have the barbecue one, so this is the one that I got. I have lemon. Uh, also have lemon oil, which is nice. I got myself two bags of kale. I got some salad kits, this peanuts and crispy noodle salad kit. I'm just gonna spread that out. This is like my grandma's recipe. And then I also have some chicken here as well, some more protein. Got myself some goat cheese, kefir that I already had. I already had this milk here. I got myself some kombucha, like hard kombucha. So it's like berry ginger. And I got the ginger lemon. My grandma got herself some Coronas and a Modelo. I've never had a Modelo, but she was like, it's going to put you to sleep. I also bought some regular kombucha. So I had one last night that you guys saw. This is my next one. I also bought myself some carrot juice and a small thing of celery juice. I'm no longer going to buy like the really big ones of these things because it just takes me a long time to get through them and then they go bad. So I'm just gonna stick with smaller ones. Also got myself um, and my grandma some crushed garlic. So I'm actually gonna take this out so I can have it with the salmon. She got herself some eggs and some cantaloupe chunks. I do not like cantaloupe, it is not my favorite. And she has some stuff up here. <laughs> I don't really know what that is. And I'm not gonna try to figure that out. And then we have the freezer here. She got herself some green beans, um, her turkey bacon, some chicken, salmon. Um, oh, I also got myself, I also got myself some sweet potato fries. So I did that. And she has some asparagus, asparagus. And then, yeah, we have some snacks here, uh, mainly her stuff. She has like these oatmeal cookies and then Ritz crackers and truffles and all this other stuff that's hers. I have everything I need to make my oatmeal in here, including my favorite honey. This honey is honestly just the, like this flavor. The yellow clover one is so good from Brother Valley for the some, something special subscription. And I have some more stuff over here. I have like coconut oil, I have, you know, some spices and stuff like that that I brought. We got some avocado oil spray as well, just to keep things kind of easy. My grandma has like her decaf coffee stuff her oatmeal some sweet potatoes some oranges um her bread she's got some sourdough bread here from trader joe's and she brought with her um bananas i got this macro bar and some bananas here so i'm gonna have some of those but yeah i'm gonna make some lunch i brought my air fryer with me so which is honestly a really good thing because I brought the air fryer with me, which is honestly a really good thing because our host let us know that she was trying to clean her oven and it blew out a fuse. So we would have to stick with using like the stove top, but because I brought my air fryer, we can still like bake some stuff, which is how I typically um, make my stuff. She also has like this, like, oven grill thing here i'm not gonna use it my grandma has used it i don't like using those things my grandma has one at her house but they're not my favorite to use i just don't know why i don't like using them but i have my air fryer so i'm gonna use that to make my salmon now and make myself some lunch so i've worked a little bit got some stuff done i actually will have I think half of a cookie it's the oatmeal raisin with lots of nuts it's really good hold on kind of crumbly <laughs> but it's okay it's really good I love oatmeal raisin mmm
so I haven't had all of the ice cream, so I'm going to show you what I did have. So you can kind of see, that is how much ice cream that I've had. And I put the rest in the freezer. See? Putting it in the freezer. And that is what I've had today. Um, I mean, having another cookie does sound good, but I'm not going to have another cookie. I might... No. I really need to drink water because I have not had a lot of water today. She did put the water in there. Cool. But yeah, that's that's all I'm having today. I am had my salad, I had banana, had my breakfast, had some ice cream, had a cookie. I've eaten good today. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow. So grandma wanted me to get her some popcorn. So I put some, right? Mm -hmm. Put some for you in there. And now I'm having a couple of handfuls. Basically, I know I said I wasn't gonna eat the rest of the night, but <laughs> we found plantain chips that grandma got at Safeway. They're the organic one. Mm -hmm. It just has green plantain with palm oil, sea salt, and it's a product of Ecuador. Mm -hmm. So literally having a little bit of this, I had a couple more handfuls of popcorn. If I have more food, I will let you know. Grandma has these like truffle things, so I'm gonna try it. Uh -huh. Wow. Is it? And it, it kind of melted a little bit because I had it in the car. But it tastes good, don't it? Let me have one. I'm going to try one. I tried one and it, I would like It's It's called. I have the. I brought the, the container because I said I left the lead jasmine. See, this little girl gave it to me. Mm -hmm. She that was in my class. Mm -hmm. She gave this to me. What? It's truffle? Mm hmm. It's really good. And this is not cheap, and it's made in Belgium. Oh wow, it tastes so good. That's dangerous. Hold on, I'm just gonna have a tiny. Why you gotta bring all these snacks, girl? <laughs> We do it together. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's hopefully it for me tonight. We'll see.
Oh, you're taking pictures. So you can show your friends. Okay, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> oh, you're figuring out the settings. She is taking photos <laughs> on her camera. She's been, anytime we stay somewhere, she'll take a photo of the place that we're staying and then send it. <laughs> to her friends and her and our family because we are related i don't know why i'm saying her family it's our family but yeah she'll do that she'll document as i document and vlog but i'm having a little bit of ice cream so i'll show you guys how much i eat in the next shot but today is going well today is going well and i can attest it to God because truly I prayed that I would be more motivated and I just haven't been motivated to like be as focused as I possibly can I prayed last night and she's been super focused like my mind hasn't wandered it's just been so good so yeah feeling feeling really good and it's also just like me like Sometimes motivation, depending on where you're at, can just be really hard, you know? But anyways, I'm gonna have a little bit of ice cream, I'm taking a little bit of a break because I have a meeting in like 14 minutes and gotta write some stuff down, you know? I'll check in with you guys later. Put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. Mm. Eating mm. your truffles now? Mm-hmm. I'm also eating three truffles as well. Eating some more chips and salsa. Well, there's a freedom. So I'm not finishing the bag. There's still some in here. Honestly, I feel like the salsa is giving me heartburn. So I'm going to put it back. I've been on my way up, now it's really far down. I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground. Um, 
In October it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating through satellites, yeah It's black and white I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day That doesn't what I do not water my um that's not bad. Is no, it? It's not bad at all. Oh. You look nice. Mm-hmm. Here's your little feet. <laughs> You're so cute. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah, the man putting all that this killer weeds. Uh-huh. He is. Feed the grass, kill the weeds. I put down grab grass uh, th a thing on a thing. Girl. <laughs> it, it, it still grew back. And it's supposed to not have any at all. Mm. But I have grab grass still. So oh, also, I what I should tell the vlog last night, what you did to me, when you were just like, oh, yeah, um, that stuff over there by you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by you. I was talking about your house. And I'm thinking literal proximity <laughs> by my bed. And you're like, no, you were like, oh, you always get this about my English. I'm talking about your apartment. And I'm like, no. When you say by me, you I'm have to listen. Carefully. I do listen because you're saying, "Well, what about that stuff that was by you?" And I'm like, "There is no like, there is nothing by me. Like, none of your stuff is by my side of the bed." And you're like, "You know, it's not. You know my English. I'm talking about your house." And I'm like, "No, I didn't. How was I supposed to know?" And then I asked you. I was just like, "So if I said." <clears throat> Is there anything by you? Would you assume that I was talking about by no. you proximity or yeah, by your apartment? By my and you, proximity. And you were like, oh, it's by my proximity. And I'm like, oh, so yeah, now we understand no, the hypocrisy. No, we don't. We don't. Because I... When you, what were you asking me, for me by? Like, what was by me? I don't remember. You are asking, like, some sort of thing. Like, you needed, like, food or something or paper or whatever. You were asking for some sort of material or something mm -hmm. if it was by me. And I'm thinking by my bed. But then I ask her, if I asked you the same thing, would you assume it's by your bed or by your house in Texas? She was like, by my bed. And But now, do you hear what she's saying? She's saying, no, that's not, you have to listen. <laughs> listen to what? Yeah, listen to me. 
<laughs> listen to exactly listen from the beginning of the conversation. But the thing is, that's how you started the conversation. <laughs> You see how she ignores? You see how she ignores me? Look at that thing, right? That that's a new stem. That you, branch. She's changing branch. the conversation. That's a new branch, right? Yes, it's a new branch. Wow. Strange wow. looking. It is strange looking. I wonder how old this house is and uh, how old is that tree? You know? You see yourself in the. I'm looking, Jasmine. Look into the in here. Oh, but why you want me to look in there for? Because that's how you look at the camera. Oh, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> I'm really putting that weed and feed down, boy. Yeah, he is. four more truffles which in hindsight wasn't good because I it was like 10 minutes after I had the last one so I had six in total but 10 minutes after I had the last one I was just like I feel like I have too much sweets in my body and now I have to be better about this because as I'm getting older, my body's literally telling me we cannot handle the amount of sweets that you used to be able to handle because it's kind of sickly sweet is the feeling where you're just like, oh, I don't like this. I can't have any more of this type of thing. So that's how I felt. But today is a day full of meetings and deadlines for some projects that I have, which that's always going to be the nature of this job is that I just am working on projects constantly so I'm constantly busy but today is going to be exceptionally busy because I have some projects that have just been at a standstill and I'm like I need these to move off my plate because I want to take different things I want this off so 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 um I like meals and stuff are not going to be as like extravagant this morning I'm having a banana because I just don't have time to make oatmeal so because I have a meeting in literally a couple minutes and I woke up late this morning I was really tired but um that happened because it was my fault I went to sleep late because I was reading stuff online and got really wrapped up in it and didn't go to bed on time like I should have so I woke up really late because i was really tired and the bed here is so so comfortable so yeah i'm paying for it with breakfast this morning but i will try to i think i haven't i don't have a meeting like during like for 30 minutes during lunch so i can actually have a lunch today um despite how busy i am so yeah <clears throat> yeah i am gonna have my banana and i'm gonna head into my meeting now What like does it? it do? What does this do for you? I mean, carrot Excellent juice source of vitamin A. Yeah. I think I'm going to start getting this one. Get it at Trader Joe's. How much is it? I don't remember. I mean, they sell it individually and then they also have it in like the bigger. I'd like to give me one of those, a couple of those before I leave and put it kitty cold and then I'll drink that. And, and sip on sip on it okay. on my way home. Okay. Get one of those. Jasmine. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> so grandma's actually finishing 
the carrot juice for me because I'm not a huge fan of it. But you like it, right? I like it. <laughs> Not, a Not a lot, though. Not a lot, but it's good. It's good stuff. Forgot to show, but I've had a couple handfuls of popcorn. It's just really good with popcorn. Mm -hmm. That's why I buy it. And they're not fattening, and you can eat them. And they're okay. You don't have to feel guilty about it. And they don't have to oil in it. True. Mmm. I'm gonna have one more. So made it back home, but this morning I had a grande matcha latte with oat milk. Then for lunch, as you guys saw, I had Shake Shack, which was the avocado chicken burger with bacon and fries and a mango lemonade. And then I'm having the 20 ounce vegan mango kale from Smoothie King, as you can see here. And I think that's it. I'm very, I'm very full after I finish this. So that's, that's all I'm having for today. And I will check in with you guys tomorrow for the weigh-in. Good morning. It is Sunday, guys. Here in with the final weigh-in for the week. So we saw what I ate. Had ice cream. Had lots of chips. Had lots of truffles. Lots of sweets. I went up pounds, which is expected. It's understood. I weighed 226 pounds. So last time I weighed myself, I was 223 and now I'm 226. And I think gaining three pounds is is good. Like I, I think that is, is fine. Like I feel fine with the amount of weight that I gained during the last week. I also feel like I learned a lot about myself and the fact that because I wasn't so close to a scale because I was in an Airbnb in a different city, <laughs> I felt a little bit anxious being away from a scale and realized that I kind of developed this unhealthy relationship with the scale and the fact that I rely on it so much to know my progress, but also like, this is a weight loss journey. I want to lose weight. So yeah, it, it's making me realize that I need to navigate like my weight loss and have like a healthier relationship with the scale and not obsessing over it um like i have been and yeah it, it definitely revealed a lot about myself and my relationship with the scale and how i go about my everyday life with this weight loss through this weight loss journey so yeah, that was very interesting. Now I'm gonna go back to like what my normal diet was, which was not eating as much snacks as I did this past week. Um, I still ate healthy. I just had, you know, more chips and salsa. I had more chocolates. I had um, more gummy bears, which is understandable. Like we were, I was on a staycation, so it is expected. I ate what I wanted to eat and I enjoyed the food that I ate. And for enjoying the food that I ate and eating what I wanted to eat and gaining just three pounds, like that's not bad at all. So I feel very happy with the results of being at 226. And yeah, I am going to end this vlog here and I will check in with you guys tomorrow because today's Sunday. But as you guys know, I don't really vlog on Sundays at all. But today was the exception because I was on vacation and, you know, did not have access to a scale. So I couldn't be like, this is what I weigh <laughs> on Saturday. So, yeah, weigh 226 and feeling good.
feeling really good and understanding that I need to just change a few things of how my relationship is with the scale going forward. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know what I need to do <laughs> to change that, but you know, I think just maybe distancing myself from like the scale or maybe hiding it or something and only bringing it out on Saturday mornings or something like that. I think that's what I need to do going forward, but we'll see. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great week wherever you're at. Give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the things that I am doing. And comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!